Welcome back to the bear cave. Crewing here, don't care. Yeah, working on the trailer today. I went out and bought myself a 32 inch TV. 32 inch TV. Yeah, about as big as you want in a travel trailer, less sizes, as small as I have. But I figured I'll be putting it right there. Pew! There's a little thing called the bat. It says TV backer when you buy this thing. TV backer. Look, TV backer. So you're supposed to put TV right here. Right? So it's got the the satellite or, you know, for the campground friggin' hookup. Or your satellite dish outside. And then for your antenna, you know, one for your antenna. A little power button there. I never even know what I what fuck I don't know what's going on with that, right? And I haven't watched enough videos, right? We got a little green button there. But anyway, and it's got power up here. So I'm thinking, great, it says TV backer. So I'm putting the TV so I can watch my television if it's a rainy day. I know everybody don't put TV, don't watch TV, got camp, 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 campfires and all that stuff like that. But you know what? Every now and then you need good content, right? You need to watch some TV, put in an old PS3 or some kind of old vet retro game, play some games and stuff, because you're camping, you're supposed to enjoy yourself. So whatever you want to do is what you do. So anyway, I got my little trusty stud finder. Because I was trying to figure out, you know, maybe there was, you know, because TV backer, right? Got my line here for how far down I'm coming, where on my top hole finding the center so that way everything lines up right there that's that little mark right there you know and I'm trying to find my stud finder right see where the stud is because I wanted to use these lag bolts right here somewhere around here there's some lag bolts anyway yep I want to use something like a lag bolt because there's no direction as far as how to install a TV into this right here but I figured lag bolt would be deep enough wouldn't go through, right? Wouldn't go through, right? Be deep enough, wouldn't go through the wall. And we go all the way through with stuff. And I was gonna pre drill and whatnot and hunky door and all that stuff like that. Well, my trusty stud finder couldn't find a stud. So you got 16 inches, or not even, you got more than 16 inches there. You got, I got as many as 28 and three quarters, 28 and a half technically, with a little gap for the thing came out to about 28 and three quarters right so I'm like okay you know hmm if I was building that wall I'd probably in about the center of it put an upright in it right because center of it comes from all the way over here is about uh, look you got, you got about 40 and a half because I got this thing pulled apart right well the reason why I pulled that thing apart in this forest river salem fsx is because i wanted to see where that upright was so i could hit it right i wanted to measure back in there so there's a little screw up here in the jam right so you take that one out one little staple i'll restaple it back in then the two down here and you pour this thing inside and then there's a little panel panels just stapled in right just stapled them. and of course it was already loose down here made it really easy to get my fingers behind it right and I just took a little putty knife went up and popped a couple staples off so I got that thing oh, there you go now you can see it a little bit better right so fingers in just pop it off I just wanted to pull it back far enough like you know so I could see like look to a butt crack you know kind of see what it's in there so anyway I look in there and guess what I see? Let me get the flashlight because I don't think you'll be able to see this thing without a little light in there because I couldn't see that in light in there. Flashlight. Bam! Your TV backer that you're supposed to go into your TV in case you're wondering what's behind this panel here. Right? It's just some stupid one by three. There's two of them. So you got to hit those two one by threes somehow. Not marked on the outside. Two one by threes to mount your TV. And there's no stud up or down all the way back. Can't see that. Can't see it. Can't see it. There we go. 
no stud until you all the way back by the wall. No hickory dickory dock. Flipping this thing all over everywhere. Hickory dickory dock. You're mounting a TV to two pieces of one by three. That ain't structurally sound. You got TV backer right there. Right. So anybody who's not inquisitive isn't going to do nothing. They're going to put that TV up there and it's going to fall down when they're going down the road. TV backer. TV. One by threes. Baby Jesus. These Forest Peak River people are crazy. Why don't you put an upright stud? I'm going to do like a little stud right in the center. Most people are going to mount right in the center. Just makes no sense. Put some marks over here. So that way you know where you got to hit. So your top one and your bottom hole go in freaking wood. Makes no sense. So anyway, I'm still going to figure out how to put TV there. I'll probably pull that wall apart, put a little bit more support behind it. Put it back together and hang my TV there. That's where I want my TV anyways. Baby Jesus, Forest River, I don't get you. You guys don't get it all. But anyway, I'll do another video once I get this TV up because this thing's going to take all day. Peace out. Remember, America.